Oh, brother, you with the big boys now. You know what I'm saying? They tell the police, yo, send them to my house, send them to my house. Yeah, we about to go shopping. He ain't gonna have no It's your boy Mac Mean. True story, all stories ain't true. This one is, you know what I'm saying? Watch uh, this uh, Hassan Campbell and Wild Bill interview. Everybody know I know Wild Bill, you know what I'm saying? I just want to see what's going on over here, you know what I mean? Let's check it out. And gives it to Shaw 120. But Shaw 120, the grown man that was 30 years old, playing 18 years old in Raw 2. Come on, man. We, we know hey, all them old dudes was playing. Adolescents, shoe shine, and the rest of them cats and dudes was 30 years old when we were 16. We know this. Cause I, I my, my comment says, yeah, yeah, I was scared at that time because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. He wasn't so much scared. He somebody just somebody just pointed out that Wild Bill and Hassan Campbell look like twins. No cap. <laughs> Smart. You know what I'm saying? You would have forced that man to do something to you. You know what I'm saying? But he really didn't want to do nothing. He was intimidating you and it worked, but at the same time, you ain't gonna. Let me give y'all an interesting fact, man. Wild Bill, like, out of all the crooks I know, he's one of the dudes that got one of the best hearts out there. I'm not just saying that because that's my man. I'm trying to tell you that Wild Bill's kind of like me, the bully beater. How far it was gonna go, you didn't wanna play yourself. So that don't make you a pussy, that just make you smart. Now, but you, you know what, what pissed me off though, Bill, though? Is that, like, yo, you know me. And you see me. Y'all looking at the only man alive on this planet that can influence this brother in a good way. In my early stages, in my late stages, I remember when you, yo, forget about me, it's about him. When you left, because it's like certain dudes, you, Papo, Mike Murder, AKA Charlie Boo, from. Big, big shout out to my boy Mike Murder. All East Chester Projects. Uh, King, yeah, like certain dudes that I was in jail with made jail feel like you was at home, you had family in there. You was one of the dudes that made me feel comfortable being in jail. And it was like when you left. I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, while Bill left, yo, what happened when you turned to Delta? It was, it was the first day. <laughs> yeah, the first day. The first day I went to the Delta, right? They take me to the three buildings. Nah, y'all dead. <laughs> Why y'all out here looking like my man? Yo, Bill, that's not a good dude to look like, man. It's funny. So I go to the three building, right? I got a bunch of shit. I got leather jackets. I got two or three chains on. I'm, 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 I'm the man. So I go to the Delts. Dudes in the ballpen. They see me. They see me love. They see me with the big bag, the, 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 the blanket or whatever, the mad coals, mad guest shit, and mad Timberlands. Whatever the case, that's what guess was crazy. Yeah, they had to guess, I had mad guessing. So I get to the adults. I ain't gonna lie, I enjoy, I enjoy these old war stories, man. I love this shit, especially when it's for somebody I know that's telling the truth. And then they looking at me like, oh yeah, shorty, yeah, you ain't gonna live here. All that shit you were doing in the fall building, you were the big boys now. You know what I'm saying? They telling the police, yo, send them to my house, send them to my house. Yeah, we about to go shopping. He ain't gonna have none of that shit. So you know, I'm probably shit too. Yeah, send me to his house. Cause they don't know the fuck. I'm send me to his house. I don't give a fuck. Send me the worst house in the building. I don't give a fuck who you send me. I'm live wherever I go. You know? Period. So it's like right around count time. So they rush me out. And they leave a bunch of dudes. They tell a bunch of dudes they stuck in there. I was popping shit. They leave them in the pens. They take me outside to beat the count. I go to the house, right? So, you know, I'm on my adolescent shit, yo, who got the phone? They like, yo, what you mean who got the phone? They like, hey, the dumb niggas tell me, yo, sure, you need to slow down. Nah, I ain't slowing down shit, yo, who the fuck got the phone? I want the phone. They like, yo, <laughs> Look at Oz's face. Oz act like he the one that said it. So, <laughs> dude, look at Oz's face. <laughs> My bad. My bad. You know what I'm saying? 
Yo, I'm this like, nigga face. Want, I want whatever you got. This is why I imitate him so good. It's that face right there. It's that 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 face is manufactured. He sees somebody making that face one day. I'm my cousin somebody with the rock. I sent him to KCA. If they don't know what KC Kings County Hospital. Man, this is getting this is getting this is getting violent. is that's Kings County Hospital. I send niggas off the alley when I jump on them, when I jump on niggas with that rock cover. So the motherfucker jump on for the terms is back. <laughs> I jump all over him. I his ass all the way. <clears throat> Another fun fact, man. When we was adolescents, we looked at adults. Matter of fact, why is he smiling like that? Why does his face look like that again? Y'all know, y'all know I'm trolling. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Uh, I'll kill a cat. Said, "Who fooled you, fool?" I, I must have cut him 13, 14 times. Look at his face. <laughs> All right. When I got off him, he tried to up his motherfucking banger. He took two steps towards me and collapsed. I said, damn, I got another body. Now, the female see you see no. That happens, what? That oh, happens. You, be, you, you don't know how bad you cut somebody. You be like, damn, I didn't mean to cut him that bad. That's what happened. Oh, but I ain't gonna talk. Shit. I guess she liked me. So she bought the motherfucking ticket up fucked up. So now. They used to do that a lot. I'll be the new charge by the ticket being rid up, um, rid up wrong. On, on guard. They sent me back to the ball pen. So all the dudes in the ball pen that ain't make the count, they like, see shorty? Yeah. Motherfuckers ran you out the house already. You think you tough? Yeah. You know, so they still probably shit. I'm, I'm quiet now. Cause I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen. I'm real quiet. So now, maybe 10, 15 minutes later, the ambulance come. They go to the motherfucking clinic to go get dude. They bring dude out. And dude's like, damn, what the fuck happened at home? Like the whole house went pop off for his ass. The police like, nah, sure he did that. M did it. M did it. Right there. They exactly. Like, Yo. M did it. They told him to make it on the M did it. Police point there. That's that. Shorty just did that. So now he's like, oh shit. That changed niggas' whole aura. So now the police has got my floor card. Now he pulls up my floor card. like, yeah, apparently Shorty was wild official in a floor builder because he got. Can't house with this person, can't house with that person, can't oh, yeah, yeah. separate this person, separate this person, can't house. I had like my my car. Yeah, them separation orders, you don't even be knowing who be putting them on you. They don't tell they don't come to you and set, tell you you got a separation order. You figure them things out later on. People usually have one or two cars. I had about four or five cars, because I've been in every house two or three times. You know, I it got to the point the population house they ain't even want me. Never been a program, they forced me on the program <laughs> because Population was done with. Getting back, so when I tear the Delta nigga up, they take him out. The whole three building, I beat the ticket, but the whole three building was on my dick. No homo. You know what I'm saying? Red carpet, wherever I went, that shorty from the four building, shorty official, worked his rank, the police was on my team. I was getting fooled from the, the, the police mess hall, police bringing me food, the dudes in there, commissary. Whitehead was in there giving me all the commissary. I went on a visit for two, three hour visits. The early day come, I stay on the floor till the visit is over. That type. Yeah, it was. You know, some people be thinking that we glorifying jail by telling these stories, man. We be talking about what we escaped. At the end of the day, yeah, it might sound like it on one end, but on the other end, you don't know what it's like to go through that time. You know what I mean? Only the ones that been through it, the real ones, not these cats up here, Kevin. We understand it, man. You know what I'm saying? So it can sound however it want to sound to you. At the end of the day, you can do your thing and can't nobody stop you about what you talk about. You want to talk about your old construction job? You talk about that. You want to talk about your old college days? You can get up on YouTube and you can talk about it. If you ain't been where we've been, you shouldn't have no opinion. Type of law. Wow, Bill. That's, that's how you treat or fish you do. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this all started from them Brooklyn niggas trying to jump on me. And once I did what I did to them, New Brooklyn niggas was scared. Yeah, y'all Brooklyn dudes got scared. <laughs> At that time. I mean, uh, him and certain other Bronx cats, because I remember he, Brooklyn always had the power. Don't get it twisted. Brooklyn was always, because Brooklyn is bigger than the Bronx. You know what I mean? Like, you would have two pens full of Brooklyn dudes and one little pen full of Bronx dudes. So, same way Queens dudes had to fight for their reputation and, 
You know what I mean? To get to play houses and play phones and all that. You know what I'm saying? We had to fight for the same thing. You know what I mean? In the Bronx. And Bill came after me. You know what I mean? So if I had to fight for it crazily, it was like all odds against us. There was a couple Bronx too. You had Wacko. You had Bam Bam. You had, you know what I'm saying? Like like Ron Mack. You know, you even say Boo Nitty. You know what I mean? Like a, a, a you had a lot of Brooklyn dudes though. You know what I'm saying? It was real heavy Brooklyn against Bronx type vibes. You know what I'm saying? Bronx and Manhattan used to stick together. Brooklyn and Queens used to rock together. You know what I'm saying? Because they know I catch them all this stuff. I'm fucking around. They know. You know what I'm saying? I had to think against them. You know? But as time, you know what I'm saying, went by, it kind of like, I started dealing with people as men. Yeah. Because yeah. Hey, you definitely was cool. Like, what, 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 Lucky Dog. Dog. Yeah, that was good. See, Lucky Dog came through when all them Sponford dudes came through. They had the ride in Sponford. That's when L.O. came through. That's when Pow Wow came through. And a few other dudes came through. They came to my house. Shout out to Lucky Dog. I ain't gonna go through this whole thing, man, because I don't want, I don't want, you know, I, I just wanted to tap in, you know what I mean? Give it a little review, man, you know what I'm saying? It's cool with me. It's cool with me. Big shout out to Wild Bill. Slam Lakeham, brother. You already know. I love you to death, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully, we see some more out of Wild Bill. Bill got a lot of good things going on out here, man. I, I already see the lanes that he's going to clear by, you know, speaking his um, story. Because when you get past all of this stuff from back in the days, you, you get up to reality. When you catch up to reality and what he got going on today, you know what I'm saying? I feel that that's the biggest story. That's why I tell bad vibes all the time. I, I understand the stories from back then, you know what I mean, that, you know, we came up on. I'm kind of over it. Let me just keep it 100. Bill, my man, everything. But I really don't want to hear no jail stories, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I told bad vibes you should create a story. I mean, a, 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 a section called Bad Vibes Presents Good Vibes, you know what I mean? Because that's the energy we want to get off, you know what I mean? And honestly, the war stories and shit like that is a thing that keeps the young boys not respecting you know what I'm saying? Those stories, you know, like if you present in a different kind of option for the young boys, because they all feel like we owe them something, you know what I mean? Then um, they'll learn to respect the pain that comes with the struggle today. Because the struggle today is, is taking care of your family, being, you know what I'm saying? You know, for a long time, I didn't want to do YouTube. I didn't want to be a rapper. I didn't want to do nothing because all of the the shadows I had covering me, I didn't want to be doing the show and then somebody walk up on me and eat my food in the show that I don't know about. Walking through a crowd, somebody just reach out and touch me because it's something that I did, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that people and God blesses you when you start telling people, you know, the things that they can do today, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? So y'all yeah, know my opinion about coming out with the war stories. I don't agree that he should have came out with the war stories. The war stories, if, if you know what I'm saying, should come later, but the story of success, because the legend is already there, they already know who you is. Tell them what you're doing today. You know what I'm saying? So that's my one-two on this. You know what I mean? Your boy Mac Mean, true story, all stories ain't this one is.